Hi, welcome to another class with Olubi, and today I will be talking about how to create your e commerce website on your WhatsApp. You know, that is the new buzz now, although it has been existing for some time, but I think people are just coming into the limelight of it. And I want to talk, talk to you about it. So the first thing you need to do is you download the app WhatsApp. W H A T S H A C H. It's available on Android and it's also available on iPhone. So download it. Once you download it, this is automatically what you're going to see. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on create accounts. So now the next thing is you click on name um what name do i want to use i want to use olubi i'm always olubi <laughs> then email i want to create it for my digital page because i already created for my other page so you put your email there uh gmail.com and next thing you do is you put the password you want i'll change this password later so let me just put something now let me put um olubi Olubi, when they open, um, what kind of password should I put? Let me just put Olubi123. Okay, great. Olubi123. Then click on create account. So now they just sent, uh, okay. Now the next thing you need to do, once you do this, you need to go to your email to verify your account so that you won't have issues with it. So once you do that, this is the next thing. You set up your business details. Now you click on add business details you're going to add a profile image let me just click on one let me click on this i'll change it later just add a profile image the profile image should be your business logo so once you do that i'm going to change it later then you had a cover image too let me just click on something done then the next thing you're going to do is your business name I would, I would, so i'm just doing this for you normally it should be your logo or be digital okay then the next thing is you talk about your business give us a brief about your business you know that thing that you put on your instagram bio you can come and paste it here back you get me so that's what you need to do <laughs> so the next thing you're, you're going to do is you put what you want to be the website link so for me i'm going to say olubi digital so now next time somebody wants to come to my to this place they will go to olubi digital dot what's dot biz i don't know if you understand what i mean so you're just going to put your business name here see what i did olubi digital the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a whatsapp number so i'm going to add my whatsapp number then i add great so is, are you telling them to display your whatsapp number yes of course if you want to add maybe you have a big business and you have like five customer reps add all the customer reps number here but for me i'm going to be adding one because i don't have five customer reps the next thing is to put your address if you want people to come for pickup put your address and if you don't if you are strictly an online person don't put your address then the next thing is you put your country and you save so that i'm talking like a pastor <laughs> okay <laughs> so now that we've created the profile the next thing we go to is you click go to store now you don't have a store you click on add store the next thing you're going to do is what is your store name olubi digital meaning that for um um one account at WhatsApp, you can have like five businesses registered on it you can have like 10 so meaning if you are running five businesses at the same time you don't need to start opening new accounts for WhatsApp. one account on WhatsApp will give you different store names so immediately you have the store name you can create new stores and anything you want to do so now i just created my store the next thing i'm going to do is the next thing i'm going to show you is the next thing is order if you have any order this is where it's going to show products you have not added any products but before we had products we have to add categories so you go to categories then click on the plus sign so the first category let me say the first category is um um okay 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 let me say uh funnels okay let me use something relatable let me say um 
categories i chineke oh. <laughs> okay like for my business let me use for my olubi store business even though i already created one earlier the next thing you do is you click on okay you create a um, category let me say the first category i'm creating is ring lights then i create so now i have a category you can now go back to products add a product so when you had a product it's going to ask you to select the category so i i'll be able to select the category i want and that's i want to put it under ring light product name let me say 14 inches ring lights ring lights then price i put the price there twenty five thousand. please you can get your ring light for me it's very important like ring lights is very important as a business owner so now if you want them to know how many pieces is available you mark this but if you don't want them to know how many pieces are available you just of when you close it it doesn't show how many pieces are available next thing you're going to do is you're going to add the pictures of the products by clicking on it and adding the pictures the next thing you're going to do in product description is that you're going to talk about the products sku means also relates to the amount available so it's not necessarily you feel it if you don't like for me now if you don't want to be going there back and forth when it says out of stock just leave it don't feel sku just leave it like that let people keep ordering especially if you're someone that you're always having in stock you get what i mean so then when it's out of stock you can come here and click on out of stock so people can know that that item is out of stock so once you do this you create you create the product so now we have one product created Woo! so you go again to categories if you still have like if i want to add other ring lights here i don't need to create new category i'll just come to products add products and i'll select category again and i'll click on ring lights but if the next thing i want to post is maybe tripod i can go to categories and type tripod now i want to create a new category tripod then i create it i can create more categories i can say this time around i want four rugs so i want to create as many categories that are related to my business as possible grass carpets so I've, let me say i've created this then you come to products click on the plus sign here select the category you want to add so if i'm if i'm going to be uploading four rugs i click on four rugs if i was going to be uploading grass carpet i click on grass carpet and you do it the same way i did the other ones so that's basically it so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to more let's go to more more is to add shipping theme like you want to add the shipping charges people will maybe you charge a flat rate if it's a percentage you charge you put it here if it's a flat rate you put it here and you save it then the checkout option to uh the form they are going to fill when in the, in the checkout option uh you're going to put the minimum order maybe uh you you want the minimum order to be anything lesser than 100k meaning that if you are buying things lesser than 100k buy it from the website but if it's above 100k come and chat with me but for me i feel you shouldn't put any minimum order let them order it as far as the website is easy to take their order the next thing is you go to form what form do you want them to submit when they order of course you want their name of course you want their if you are someone that has been investing in email marketing of course you want email of course you want address of course you want their city of course you want their state if you're shipping outside lagos of course you want the country and if there's any notes you want them to add to it of course you click on the notes can you see so this is what they will feel when they submit their order and you save it so the next thing is settings if there's a note you want to write there for the customer probably you want to say please note delivery is within three days put it here now so this is where you're going to put that like the notification oh sorry delivery is in two weeks time this is the note so that immediately they place the order they are seeing this exactly so next thing you come to you come to whatsapp now whatsapp checkout there are two checkout options that you can use the first checkout option is using the what ash official number now i'm going to recommend using the what ash official number because you can be able to track and manage orders 
But if you're using your WhatsApp, you can't track her money. That means you are still doing the same thing you've been doing before. The only difference is that you have websites, but they are still coming to your WhatsApp to come and place the order. But by using WhatsApp official number, they will complete all the order on the website and WhatsApp will send you the summary on your WhatsApp. So you don't need to start talking to any customer. WhatsApp should send you the summary and you just send out the order without even talking to the customer. Lie, lie. So imagine how easy that would be. So definitely you want the first option, which is the WhatsApp official number. So you save it. Then the next thing you go to is OTP. Do you want people to receive OTP? You know, I usually like that we mark it. You know why? Some people will put a wrong number there. They didn't know. Then you now start looking for who is the owner of this item. You start posting on your page. Somebody placed another on our website. We don't know the number. But by the time you put OTP there, any number they put there, what I should first confirm the number by sending an OTP to them. And immediately they can receive an OTP. That means the number is real. That means the number is correct. No issue. Then you save it. So meaning that you should switch it on. But if you feel you don't need that, you can switch it off. But for a business owner, you need it. Please don't stress yourself. So you switch it on and save it. So that is the checkout settings. The next one is payment settings. Now, there are different methods of payment settings. But in the app, you're only allowed for pay later, meaning that payment on delivery. Now, if you're someone that doesn't do payment on delivery, what you're going to do is you have to go and log in on a laptop so that you can set up pay stack. You're going to log in on a laptop so you can set up paystack. So by the time you log in and you come to settings, payment settings, you will click on paystack and you will set it up. Maybe sometime later I may do a video on how to link paystack to um um your WhatsApp because I did that for my account already. So if the paystack option is there, meaning that they can pay online. And that is the best except if you do pay, if you do pay on delivery this is great but if you don't do pay on delivery just close it so the pay stack option is what you will use but you, you can see they wrote it here it said you can start collecting payments by integrating your store with payment gateway providers like stripe razor pay there's pay stack don't worry all you need to do is you need to visit the website can you see it for your payment configuration so if you need help with linking paystack to your WhatsApp, I'll do a video sometime later, but I won't finish this video first. So if paystack is there, you can click on paystack so that when people place the order, they pay immediately. Then you save it. Then you move to settings. Is there anything you want to set there? The currency, Naira, right? So you move to more in this place also. You check your profile, quick replies. Do you want... Your customers to um receive quick replies whenever they send a message you sort set that up here funnels is you want to categorize your customer those who place their or those who you have shipped those who you have not shipped but funnels uh i would say you can't know the fullness of funnels until people start coming to your WhatsApp to place order so that is where that funnel is useful. Then tags, you can tag customers. Oh, I've delivered this. Oh, I've not delivered this and sort like that. Polls, you can be able to ask, but you need to use that on their website. Can you see it? So basically, the one you can use on the app, I just did it now. Now let's try what we just did. Let's try what we just did. Let's go to the olubidigital.watts.biz. Let's see if... People can place order from there. Will it be digital dot watts does dot bees? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. www dot digital dot watts dot bees. Okay, I'm going there. Sorry, I think I made a mistake. I think what I'll just do is I'll just copy it. Yeah, I think that's what's best. So what I did was I think that www is wrong. So what you need to do is uh just copy it. So now this is let me show you again. 
just copy just copy just share click on the share button and share the link so now we want to test if the website we created is functioning click on the link when you click on the link this is how to open for a potential customer you know i didn't put my details that's why they are not seeing my details if you put your details they will see everything here then the next thing you're going to do is click on if they come to the store they want to buy anything they can add to cart when they add to cart if they want to buy two pieces they can click on any pieces they want you can see the different sections which you created now they have added it to cart the next thing they will do is they'll come to cart that's your customer buying something now if you had put delivery charge to be there then you click on continue so now have you seen that the details you said they should fill that is what is asking me now so let me go ahead and fill it because i want us to see uh i want us to see how it will be unfortunately oh okay my phone is not here i will have showed you so immediately they feel this automatically they send you a message they send you a message and they also send the customer a message so if you have any question on this video please let me know send me an email reply the email thank you <laughs>